What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and here we are with my Pixel Book, a Chromebook. And I've had a few requests on a video for what is on my Chromebook. This is it. Now before we go ahead and jump into this video, I do want to say I've got a lot of apps on the Pixel Book and I can't go through all of them because this would just be a really long video. I'm going to just go over the essential apps, the ones that I feel you should have on a Pixel Book or any other Chromebook and then we'll just go over a few games because again I got a lot of apps and that also includes games too so we'll just do a few there as well. Now the first thing we're going to talk about would be messages for web and if you have an Android device like this one here then messages for web is going to be very helpful because instead of texting from your Android device you can actually text from your computer in your web browser. It's pretty cool because you can use the full keyboard, you can type a lot faster and more efficiently. When you're using messages for web too, you also get the notifications in your notification panel of new text messages you're getting. And it also syncs with your Android phone really, really well. Now, the next thing we gotta talk about, of course, would be the Play Store. And that's because the Play Store allows a Chromebook or a Pixelbook to be the awesome device that it is. Now, the Play Store is awesome because it allows you to use a lot of apps that you would use on your Android phone. Now, when I'm looking for apps on the Chromebook or the Pixelbook, I try to look for apps that allow me to continue progress on my Android phone or allow me to continue progress on the Pixelbook from the Android phone. Just things that sync together really well, whether it be apps or games. Moving on to another essential app would be LastPass. Now LastPass is a free password manager from the Google Play Store. And basically what it's going to allow you to do is store all your sites and passwords. And in today's age, this stuff is more important than ever because you have to keep track of this stuff. But not only that, you have to have really strong passwords. And that's where LastPass comes in handy. Not only can LastPass do these few things for you, but it can also autofill passwords into your favorite sites or your most visited sites. Then the next essential apps would be smart home apps. If you've been following the channel, you know that I've got smart bulbs and smart plugs. I've got a Google Home and I basically talk to Pixelbook to run things. I talk to my Android phone to run things and obviously the Google Home menu there. So having the home control apps here will allow us to control things from the Pixelbook as well if we want to do it more precisely. Of course, we could do it through the Google Assistant, but I like to jump into the two apps that I use most frequently for that, which would be the Casa Smart app and the Google Home app. Now, as you can see here, we can actually turn things on and off through the Pixelbook by just clicking on icons. The next apps that I have on my Pixelbook would be apps from Google. Now on a Chromebook or a Pixelbook, there are web versions available, but I download the actual apps such as Google Docs, Google Photos, Google Playbooks, Google Play Music, Google Sheets, all those because to me they just work a little bit better as an app versus going online. And also they allow you to work offline. And then let's not forget about the last essentials. That would be creator apps if you are someone who does YouTube or maybe something else where you have to create content. And what we are talking about here would be the Power Director app and Snapseed. Now, if you've been following the channel on that as well, you know that I do all my videos. All of them are recorded on either a Pixel 3 XL, which is what I'm shooting on, a Pixel 2 XL, and then I've also got the Nexus 6P still that goes back a few years. So that's what we shoot on. Uh, but we actually edit all the content, all the YouTube videos on the Pixelbook, and that's through PowerDirector. And I've got a video that I made, I've got two of them. I'll try to post those somewhere in the video, maybe in the description, that kind of thing. Then we have Snapseed. Snapseed is made by Google, and that basically allows you to edit photos. Now you can edit photos in Google Photos, but Snapseed I like a little bit more. It just seems to have a few more extra features. And actually I use Snapseed to edit my cover art for my YouTube videos. And basically that's gonna be the picture that you see of the video before you click on it. Then we've got games, and with games, I always am downloading more and more games and deleting more and more games. It's never really consistent, but the games I do play the most would be Asphalt 9, Shadowgun Legends. Now Asphalt 9 is a 
Very awesome game. Great to play on Android. Really good to play on the Pixel Book or any other Chromebook. And it's really nice because you can use keyboard controls for this game. And I haven't really tried it out too much, but I imagine you can also use touch controls. You can also tilt the Pixel Book. It does have a gyroscope in it. Shadow Gun Legends, I tried that out. Doesn't really work with the keyboard, but you can use the Pixel Book in kiosk mode or tablet mode, and you can use touch controls as well. And this is going to be a nice little role playing game that you can go around in a world, of course. And you are just trying to fight enemies. That is pretty much it for games. Again, I've got more than that, but I want to keep this video simple. I don't want to make it too long. So that is pretty much it for what's on my Pixel Book, my Chromebook here. But I just want to run over just the basic things that I use all the time. I've got a lot of other stuff on here, but it's not really used all that much. It's just stuff that I kind of download because I think I'm going to need it and then I never use it. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those below and I'll do my best to answer them. And who knows, maybe it'll encourage a future video or maybe I'll answer questions in a next video, anything like that. Last but not least, if you wanna support the channel, hit that subscribe button. That just lets people know that we're getting more and more subscribers. This channel is actually useful. People enjoy watching and it'll just get more people on board. So that is pretty much it for today. Leon, check in out.